A busy night for Columbus City Council. A number of hot top issues were passed, including new gun laws, an increase in minimum wage, and liquor license suspensions. 10TV's Ashley Bornanson joins us in studio tonight, breaking down this new legislation and what it means for you. Ashley? Well, Yolanda Andrew, tonight Columbus City Council unanimously voted to pass what council members are calling common sense gun laws. Now, Council President Shannon Hardin says this is a huge step forward in eliminating violence off our streets. Now, the reform will prohibit ordinary residents from owning large capacity magazines with 30 or more rounds of ammunition. It will also prohibit reckless selling, lending, giving or furnishing a firearm to anyone who is prohibited from possessing possessing one. It also prohibits a person from negligently storing a firearm in a place that may be accessible to minors. City Councilman Shayla Favor says this will be enforced on the streets and is confident in this legislation, taking advisement from City Attorney Zach Klein. For me, this is worth the risk. Protecting our residents, protecting our youth is worth the risk of a potential lawsuit. Uh, we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to keep residents safe. And City Council also voted to strip 12 of the 13 liquor permit renewals for local businesses that were believed to have chronic criminal activity, including crime, overdoses, and liquor violations. That list includes Dollhouse, Platform Lounge, Queen of Hearts, and Jewel Up. Now, it was outside this short north bar where Gregory Coleman Jr. died after being sucker punched back in September. It's also a bar that brought multiple neighbors out tonight to share their concerns while a manager fought to keep the license. There's a particular concern to me with Julep are number one, unchecked underage drinking, excessive noise, littering, vandalism, fighting. What we're doing now is try to make sure that we move forward in a better light so that way people are safe and that we can avoid that situation from happening again. And to also de-escalate situations as well. Now, what are next steps? Well, all businesses will be able to operate as normal. The city attorney's office says this will be a year long process. They will bring the cases to the state's Department of Liquor Control, where a final decision will be made. City Council also approved to increase the minimum wage from $15 an hour to $20 an hour. That's for businesses receiving economic incentive from the city. Now, this change would take effect January 1st, 2023.